together, we will be presented to you the application deployment tracking system proposed by eMoney Advisor. Successful web applications are built around continuous integration, which is a phase in the deployment cycle. The diagram here briefly goes over what software the deployment cycle with continuous integration will look like. To start, developers will integrate um, their source code often several times a day. They'll then go through an automated build, which will determine if there are er any errors in the code. Once the build is done, it will report back to the developer so that they can make any necessary changes. So there's a need for a system that is able to track all of the changes within the release cycle. Doing so will help reduce the amount of delays in the building process, which can also help prevent any unnecessary costs. Currently, there isn't a system that's able to do all of this while also displaying all the information in one place. So with that in mind, our best intensive outcome is to create a web application that will allow users the capabilities to track the overall status of a software release. Some key features are that if any update that is made, it will be manually updated through the user, which would help project members be able to be up to date with the status of that release. Another key feature is if um, administrators will be able to place the users into different work groups. With these work groups, will be assigned different tasks and responsibilities. Another feature is if a user were to miss a deadline, a notification will be sent to them to remind them what the task was. What you see here is our uh, technological stack. Due to its complexity, we need to separate the technologies used into different layers. The first layer is the front end part of the application. The front end being what the user sees and interacts with. To design this, we'll be using React, which is the de facto standard front end library that runs on top of JavaScript. The next three layers are all Microsoft based. Since eMoney's software ecosystem is Microsoft based, we need to make sure that our project was compatible with theirs. The second layer is the API layer, API meaning application programming interface. These APIs are an external service that the program will interact with, which would then allow, would then allow the services for our application. Uh, to design this, we'll be using HTTP Dynamic Core APIs. The third layer is the application logic layer with business rules. These rules are set by the company to determine how data is stored, released, and displayed in our application. For this, we'll be using the latest version of .NET Core. And lastly, for storage, we needed a database that will hold any relevant data within our application. And for this, we'll be using the Azure SQL Server. So our remaining te uh, technical accomplishments include, or sorry, the, our key technical accomplishments to date are that we have uh, worked to create our prototype model view controller web application. Uh, we codenamed it Red Alpha. Uh, so the model view controller, or MVC, our uh, architectural pattern uh, separates the three, the web application into three components, the model, the view, and the controller. The view is pretty much what the user sees. Uh, the model it holds all of the data logic that will essentially update the view. And then the controller manipulates the data uh, in order with the model and interacts with the view in order to create uh, final alpha. Uh, our next technical accomplishment uh, is that we wanted users to log in using an, an external login provider, and that we kind of did a lot of research. And Jump Cloud was what uh, that research led us to. So Jump Cloud is an authenticator that essentially manages employee login information. Uh, that authenticate and it had the authentication protocol and an online directory service that we wanted uh, because everything else would have been too complicated to set up. Jump Cloud uh, kind of follows this authentication protocol and it essentially, a user loads Red Alpha. From Red Alpha, we can see if the user's logged in or not. If the user's not logged in, then we're redirected over to Jump Cloud and then we can log in through Jump Cloud. Uh, Jump Cloud then generates a login token if the user logs in successfully. And that login token is essentially kicked back over to Red Alpha, and Red Alpha uses that login token in order to finish authenticating the user. Uh, our remaining technical accomplishments uh, include fully authenticating an end user, and 
we also have a lot of front end uh, development that has to happen as well. Our user interface isn't really at an aesthetically pleasing place right now, and so we have the resources in order to learn to incorporate React into our application. We just haven't had the time to fully embrace those resources. Uh, we also have to work with the application logic. There are things that the user will be able to see and that they'll be able to do inside Red Alpha that we still haven't implemented yet, and we have to go through that. And essentially, Red Alpha will interact with all of the APIs in order to get all of the information that we want. Uh, lastly, we'd like to thank our technical directors and our technical consultant, and Dr. Sunet. Thank you.